welcome to my channel today we're gonna do something a little different we're gonna talk about bad boys one versus bad boys two i know a lot of people like to debate about it about which one is better which one is funnier me personally i think a lot of people think the first bad boys is better because first first of all it's the first one and it's the first movie where you saw will and martin together which is you know iconic and People love nostalgia. Overall, good movie. Number two is definitely better than one. It's definitely funnier. If we want to talk about story and all that, we can get into that in a little bit. But when you can talk about funny, two has it's not even close. It's a landslide when it comes to the funny. And I know, I think Martin said in the first one, they didn't really give him a lot of room, you know, to ad lib and to go off the cuff. In the second one, you can tell, like, because everything was just so much more funny. Um, all his ad libs when he took the, I think it was Molly, whatever drug that was, where he was acting crazy doing it. <laughs> Call the wife, tell her I'm on the way. Call the wife, tell her I'm on the way. Like, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. And then, obviously, the icon iconic scene where the um, boy came to pick up Martin's daughter and they was playing with him about it. Um, making him scared and stuff. What you want, nigga? So, like, iconic. If I'm there, you know what it's gonna be. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang, nigga. And me and my family member, we were, I was asking them, like, which one is, do they think is better? And they said one. And I was like, what's the most iconic scene in one? And they were like, the one where, well, the scene where Will was running, you know, with his shirt open. Because I think he said he didn't want to do a shirtless scene because I don't know if he thought it was corny or what. But so they were just like, okay, what if we, you know, leave it open, button up open. Um, so yeah, that scene is iconic with him running in slow mo. That that is iconic. But okay, and I was like, okay, what else? And they were like, um, in the end, where he was like, from now on, that's how you drop. And honestly, I did not remember that really. I was like, well, I remembered it, but I was like. That's the second one. Like, when he was like, from now on, that's how you shoot. From now on, that's how you shoot. That's how I remember that more than I remember from now on, that's how you drive. From now on, that's how you drive. I remember from now on, that's how you shoot. Because when, you know, the scene when he did the, at the end with the lamb moms and then he missed them and then shot the dude directly in the head and then the dude dropped. That's way, that scene is way better than him driving in an open space and just fitting through a smaller hole. I'm like, which scene is more iconic? Or which scene is better? The one, the, se the second one is way better. That scene is overall better. Um, and then I know the first thing is iconic when the shooting, how they did the pan 360 um, around. Like, that is iconic. That's an iconic scene, but it's like, that's more about the shooting of it, like the aesthetic of it. So, it's not really the actual movie. And in the first one, I feel like I see where they were going with it. Like, okay, it was Will Friend that died. Like, he was had to find her murderer and, like, avenge her or whatever. But it's like, they didn't even build her character enough to where I care. Like, I mean, she died. It was like, ooh, but they didn't build their relation up relationship up enough to where I really felt it. It was just, okay, well, another woman he talked to, dated, was friends with, whatever. Okay, they gone. Now, I do like where they switch, like, you know. They have to pretend to be each other. Then I do like that. Like the single man has to pretend to be married. Then the married man has to pretend to be single. Like he a ladies man. And then he had all the pictures up in the apartment. Like I do like that concept. But it just I think it wasn't ex executed like that great. Like I said they didn't build the woman's character up enough where she got shot. Uh, and then too it's like what was the point of that? Like why... Did he even have to have that? He could excuse, like, it just didn't really make logical sense. And I know it's a movie, so I don't got to be logical, but it just didn't make logical sense. Like, they could have just told the girls to, I mean, well, the woman to leave, because they didn't know the other girl was there. But they could have just told her to leave. We need a moment. Then they could have did whatever they did. And, or, it just was, it just, that scene wasn't great. They could have did that better. The second one, the story... 
and, you know, they brought in his sister, and then his, you know, Will was, Will's character was dating his sister, and then they didn't want to tell him. Uh, I'm thinking about them getting, he was like, who shot you in the ass? He was like, that you, that you would be you. He was like, I shot you in the ass. He was like, ooh, somebody shot you in the ass. Who shot you in the ass? Who? That who would be you? I shot you? Somebody shot you in the ass. Like, it's just so much more iconic. I'm sorry. The second one is just like, it's so much more funny. Like, nobody can tell me that the second one ain't more funny. And I feel like in the first one, they probably shared. It was equal as far as who was the lead. But I, mean, I think the second one, I feel like. You know, I'd like to say Will took over the lead in the second one. He seemed more the breakout star. I think his character was just Martin brought Will on, but I think Will's character was just better. Like you got to work with more with Will's character than you do Martin's character because he's a married man with kids. So you get to work with more with Will. So and then obviously Will's gonna be the ladies man and not Martin. You know, especially at that time in the 90s. So, it's like, it was just meant for him to be the breakout star. I feel like, not really at a date. I mean, I feel like long people, you know, you people, whatever is the first, usually people going to be like, that's the best. Like, the first Friday, people going to be like, the best, which it is, because, you know, the second one, the second one and the third one, all of them are really good, but they go in order from first, second, third, in order of good. Um, but... They're all good. Bad Boys 1 and 2 is good, but just 2 is way more entertaining to me. Like, 1, I'll watch every every blue moon, but 2, I'll watch more frequently because it's just more funny. It's more entertaining. Um, it's just more quotable stuff for, from it. It's more takeaways. Um, it's more iconic scenes, more iconic scenes, moments. Um, it's from the second one, so... I, then I, I might do a video on this. I'll just do it now. Um, house Party 3 is the best house party. I know people are like, yeah, yeah, the second one definitely. They, they, the second one not even in competition. When they was at college, that, that one isn't the best. That's just, it ain't great. But the third house party is the best house party. And the first one is great because you get to see a black dad, an iconic black dad. That was great. But the third one is the best one. It has TLC in it. It has Bernie Mac in it. Has shrew and day up on the Parkers, like it has it has it had IMX in it, like it was just so much better in the quote books in that too. Birdie Mac Cole scene. Um, if they don't like, <laughs> like iconic. Um, TLC. Sorry for ya. Sorry for ya. Cause we don't like that. The wind don't like that. Mm. It's just, it's just so iconic. You know, too, that one, it was so much people in it. And Chris Tucker was in it, too. Uh, that one. So, you might say the better story is the first one. But the third one is just so funny. It's so much more funny than the first one. Um, the third one, like I said, just so many quotas. Like, when the third one's on, I get happy. I'm like, oh, I'm going to watch it. My first one, I'm like, oh, I might watch it, might not. Like, class act. Two is really good too. I wish they would have made a second one, but Friday Second is really good. I'm all over like now. I'm talking about sequels, but I think Friday get the best as far as replacing one of the lead characters and still making it good. Like with Mike Epps instead of Chris Tucker, like it's still making it good. Use it, it tanks, but Ice Cube is really good at you know movies. That's part of three iconic, TLC iconic. Then. I don't know if you really the fourth one with IMX is it's not a remake. It is technically technically a continuation because IMX was in the first one. I don't know if it, it was missing a member in well they had three members, but one of the members we don't know who it is. Um but I digress. When Martin is able to ad lib, when somebody is funny and they're able to ad lib, it's always gonna be better. It's definitely gonna be funnier, but it's I just always gonna be better. I feel like neither one of the stories was the most amazing plot. Even though, yeah, let's not even talk about the third bad boys. Because why? And then they be just introducing characters and leave them alone. They introduce Gary Bear Union character. We don't hear about it no more. Like they just be, they be treating me like Judy from Family Matters Child. Yeah, when you let people add them, it's just going to be better. 
Like, neither one of the stories was, oh my gosh, this is the best story I ever heard in my life. So, since neither one of the stories are like, oh my goodness, the amazing stories, it's like, which one is more entertaining? Which one is more funny? And it's definitely, definitely by far, the second one. It's just not even up for debate. I might compare other movies, but I feel like... And people always talk about... I kind of got something to do with video, kind of not. People always talk about Will movies, but Martin has some good movies that people do not talk about. Like, he got some classics, like Blue Streak. I love Blue Streak. It is so funny. And Dave Chappelle in it, Dave Chappelle character in it is so hilarious. I said this gonna hurt a little bit. Hi! I said this gonna hurt a little bit. <laughs> that part is my favorite part. His facial expression on that is so funny to me. I said this gonna hurt a little bit. Huh? I said this gonna hurt a little bit. That's the part that's funny to me. Now this is gonna hurt a little bit. Huh? I say this is gonna hurt a little bit. Okay. Oh, oh. Um. So Blue Streak is amazing. National Security is good too. Like people don't ever talk about National Security. Even Black Knight is funny. It's kind of like a stupid concept, but it is actually really funny. But people don't talk about Martin movies enough. Like of course they talk about life and stuff because that's him and Eddie Murphy. Obviously he's good with other comedians too. They you know iconic duo. Oh, in that movie, what's the name? What is that movie called? the dude where he robbed the dude but the dude thought his wife was cheating on him so he basically mirrored the crazy with martin's fake crazy when he was trying to rob him oh child i'm on the chat you know because even held up oh people don't talk jamie well people talk about jamie fox in movies but he's like his you know stuff in race stuff like that but like the, the bait is amazing bait i used to love bait so much i still do but I don't watch it as much, but I used to love Bait. That is just such a good movie to me. Bait even held up. Blue Leg held up with Gary Owen. I, I like that movie too. Um, what is that movie? Yeah, I can't remember the Maybe put it in a picture or something. I don't know if I feel like it, but. Child, y'all know the movie. I'm, oh, I'm going to put it. The movie title. It's somewhere. Um. But that, yeah, that movie is really good. Like, he has really good movies. Like, his movies, I might turn on before I turn on a Will Smith movie. And Martin, too, is obviously better than Fresh Prince. It's, like, not even a debate. Like, see, that's why I lean on funny. People can talk about good. Maybe people be like, Fresh Prince is the better story. Like, obviously, it's a uh, nephew coming to stay with his uncle and aunt. And, you know, living with his cousin, his rich cousins, which is a good overall story. But... It's like, Fresh Prince is one of my movies. It's good. Like, it's I, it has iconic scenes, moments, stuff I quote from it. It, it is good. And if it's on, I, I do watch it. But out of all the sick, old sitcom shows, it's like my least favorite. Like, Jamie Foxx, Martin. It's like, Wayne Brothers, Parker's. Living, I love Living Single. Like, it's just at the lower end for me when it comes to all the great thing, All the greats. Obviously, I've made all them great shows. So, it's not like it's com coming after something bad. Like, I just think it's it's good, but it's just not as good as, you know, the, like, Martin and Jamie. So, Martin got him on, that's, that's what I mean, because Martin got him on the the show for sure, the sitcom, for sure. And then, Martin, like, Will Smith, Pursuit of Happiness is good, but I'm not going to... Just watch it because it's, it's like sad. It's like a John Q. It's like a good movie, but I'm not about to be watching no sad movie all the time. But like I can throw on like Blue Streak or National Security or something. I'm not throwing on a Pursuit of Happiness. It's another Will movie. I like Men in Black. Men in Black is good. Men in Black, the first one. Men, Men in Black, I think it's the best, the best one. I think movies like that. When it's like you're introducing a new idea, obviously the first one is going to be better. Like Especially like a, a sci-fi. The first one is going to be better. Um, oh, speaking of sci-fi, child, I'll just be rambling and going on about nothing. Speaking of sci-fi, Divergent, the best sci-fi. Divergent is amazing. Child, this is supposed to be about comedy that I don't want to Divergent. It's not comedy, comedy is the sci-fi. But Divergent is like one of the best sci-fi trilogies. When something is more than three, is that still a trilogy? I don't know what is that. Because I only hear people ever say trilogy. I don't know what the, what it, a saga? <laughs> Twilight? A saga? I don't know, but. Ooh, in the fight. 
end of the last highlight. That's like the best light, although it was like fake pretend. But that's like the best fight in like a movie. One of the best fights in movie history. Um Speaking of good stuff, Veronica Mars is the best show that ever existed. I'm sorry. It ain't the funniest, but it's the, the best show. Like everything, all the T's was crossed, all the I's was dotted. Like they did that with Veronica Mars. Like iconic. I'm only counting the first three seasons. Everything after that, I don't, my memory don't register. It, it, it didn't even exist to me. It didn't exist. But I hope, I feel like they're going to do bad boys. How they be, how they doing, um, I like to say trilogy child, but the bad boys franchise. That is what I look for. What they're doing with the bad boys franchise, I feel like it's going to be like Fast and Furious. Like. Ooh, Fast and Furious. The Fast and Furious one is good, but the one with Tyrese is also really good to me. I don't know which one I like better. Hmm. I really like the Fast and Furious with Tyrese. I really do. I might like that one better than I like the first one. Yeah, I think I like. I would watch. I'm basing what I like better based on which one I would want to watch. So, if y'all told me I can only watch one, I will watch the one with Tyrese. I, again, I think it's funnier. I think I lean on what's funnier. <laughs> like, yeah, we can tell. Maybe the first one, like I said, is the better story, but the second one is obviously funnier. Now, Fast and Furious, the first one, the story is really good. Like, it's not like Bad Boys. Bad Boys, I feel like they, where they were going with it, but I just don't feel like they, they executed properly. But with Fast and Furious, they did execute that story properly. Like that, that was a good story, so I do give them that. So if someone said that's you know better, then I'll get why. Cause first you're intro being introduced to this race car driving, so I can get why you said it's the first, cause that's how you got introduced to it was the first one. But quick wrap up in this video, cause I always go on and on and talk about everything else. I wasn't supposed to talk about, cause my mind be all over the place. I need the college channel all over the place, but. Bad Boys 2 is the best, better Bad Boys. It's not even up for discussion. It's not really even a debate. I don't know what the debate is. You, If you did like a asterisk of, okay, better story, funnier, more, more iconic lines, just did a list. I feel like Bad Boys 2 would have more checks than, than the first one. I think people hold on to the first one, like I said, because it's the first one they seen with Martin and Will. But... Did y'all know, child, before I end it, I don't, I don't just thought about a random thought. Did y'all know this in Friday, Wayne Brothers had everybody, pretty much that was on Friday. D was the mama in Friday. Then uh, Felicia worked at the, the in the building that they were in in the Wayne's Brothers. Then obviously Pops was the dad in both. It's like... I don't... And then too, I tried to look it up, so I don't know which one came first, but... That, that's kind of weird. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but I, I I don't know if they saw them like, okay, let me get all the same people. Then, too, it's so funny that uh, D and Wayne, Wayne's brothers and Pops, they were married on in Friday, but in the show, they were completely different ages, which is hilarious. Wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm about to say the, they grandma, but their grandma was uh, Renona? Uh, the one that took Penny in on Good Time. Oh, uh, Taco de Mirte. Grandma, right now she's probably choking on some Taco de Mirte. Yo, I'll be able to quote the ra most random stuff from shows. Like, my wife and kids, Bobby Shaw. I always like, very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. <laughs> and I always get uh, thinking about this from Bobby Shaw. Let's cut your shins off. Cut your shins off. Um, okay, but I'm eating it for real, child. Uh, this is a little different. I know I'm supposed to be ruining stand up, but I also want to do movies, especially like um, comedian movies, comical movies. So I did want to do that. Then I don't know why. I was just like a random thought popping my head about doing a video about Bad Boys 1 versus Bad Boys 2. But yeah, I'm done. So bye. See you next video. Like, subscribe, and comment, please. Thank you so much. See you later.